country. So I know a guy, he's a treasure hunter by trade, very cool old guy, Australian guy, lived in Perth. And uh, for years, he's like, I know where this certain Spanish ship went down. Long story short, he finds it, right? Digs up one single gold coin, and he's like, it's here, I know it's here. He's a big spear fisherman, adventure guy. Goes, spends tens of thousands of dollars, he's not a rich man, spends tens of thousands of dollars, got, gets all this excavator equipment, goes to this very remote area of northwestern Australia, pulls up something like $10 million worth of treasure, takes it home, legally declares it all, tells tells the government, gets all confiscated. They give him three or four pieces. Mm. You can see his treasure in the museum in Perth. Mm. Here's this guy who would have retired, been a wealthy man, you know, had his whole life taken care of because of this thing he was obsessed with and then found, and then got the tools on his own dime to go and get it, declares it, and has it confiscated. Dude. Well, that's weird because you find stuff in the ocean, and they take it, and people become billionaires, right? They find Russia. Sure.